Hey everybody, today I want to talk about the weather service and what you can do with it. Um, if you haven't ever used the weather service, it's kind of nice to put on a graphic, uh, but you can do a little bit more with it as well. So let's get started here. Uh, it doesn't matter which workbench you're running, everybody has the weather service. Uh, I just happen to be in the optimizer supervisor. That's the new Honeywell line. Um, they're rebranded to optimizer from webs. Um, go check it out if you haven't looked at their new controllers they're nice uh, but let's get started here and what I'm going to do is open my palette and then I'm going to search for weather and then I'm just going to drop the weather service in on my services here and then I can do a new and I prefer the NWS weather service you have the Fox and you have the underground NWS is quite easy to do click on it I am in Texas and I'm in the Dallas area so I will just do Dallas DFW airport right here pretty much the closest one to me and that what that's going to do is it's going to give me today's, tomorrow's forecast, right? So just for demonstration purposes, I can put a new folder called weather. And then I can open up a new view. And call it weather graphic. And what I can do is come up here to the weather service and I can grab current and bring it out and drop it off. And you want to choose workbench view, current weather view, paint it out and give us some stuff. And then I can do tomorrow as well. Workbench view, forecast view. And that's what it would look like on a graphic there. But what you can also do is say you have some uh, global outdoor air shared with only one sensor. You can go into the weather service wire sheet here. Let me rearrange these. And then you can take the current and you can pin slots. And you can take the current temp and humidity. And you can go and tie those into the fallback of the program that you're using for outdoor air right so that gives you a little bit of extra you can also um, I've done some irrigation stuff on controls before for some universities some municipalities and we just had the 24 volts going out to the the valves the sprinkler valves coming out of the controller so what you can do is you can actually save them money. Um, you can look at tomorrow's forecast and you can bring in the high and low, but you can bring in the precipitation chance. And what you can do with that is you can take that precipitation chance and run it through or greater than or less than and have a, a set point out there, say 80%. If there's 80% chance it's going to rain tomorrow, we'll disable the sprinkler system for tomorrow. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've driven by a municipality or anywhere and it's raining outside and the sprinklers are going. Or it, the sprinklers go and then the next day it rains. So that's some a little bit of energy and water conservation there. If you have a 100% chance of rain tomorrow, there's really no, chance, no need to run the sprinklers today. You can put a 48-hour reset on the sprinkler system. And if it doesn't rain, you just run it the day after. 
So you could do a lot of stuff with the weather service. It's a nice little feature to have. Obviously, you have to have internet access. Um, if this is on Jace, the Jace has to have the internet out or the supervisor. But it is a nice little feature to add to graphics, and you can do some stuff with it, especially two pipe systems. Uh, as you saw, I added out the high and low chances for the next day on a two pipe system a high of 72 low of 55 you almost don't need cooling so you can go ahead and stage that up for the the boilers to run at the 55 degrees and by the time 11 o'clock hits you're in economizer all day so you don't have to run cooling at all especially two pipe system so you don't have to wait until the next day Say this was 85 and 55, well, then I would probably go ahead and stage the next day for cooling on a two-pipe system because it takes two to three hours to switch over from cooling to heating on a two-pipe system. You don't want to run the boilers or run the chillers. So some some cool things you can do with the, the weather forecast. Thanks for watching.